we spent the last week pretty much in Port Lincoln. Yep, made it um, to Port Lincoln. Which is made it there. Cool. We stayed in the caravan park for a few nights and then we stayed in a hotel for a few nights because yeah. some of our friends Luxury. flew down from Brisbane. Yeah, that was so it was, cool. It was pretty nice. It was awesome. And um, we actually went out and did the Great White Shark cage dive. Uh, I think it was with Calypso, wasn't it? Calypso, Calypso Star, Star Charters, yeah. It was awesome. Yeah, it was sick. It was pretty much exactly what I would want to, like I wanted the day to go. Yeah. Exactly so well. we had a three hour boat ride out to like the Neptune Islands. And then um, once we arrived there, they sort of say the sharks can take 10 minutes to get there. They can be there instantly or they can be hours. Or well, sometimes they just don't see them at all. Or, yeah. So one hour had passed and we'd not seen any sharks and we were slowly getting more and more disappointed and then the two hour mark we just had lunch yeah pretty much and we had just gone into the cage just to try it out you know try the and diving. look at the fish there's lots of fish yeah around. massive kingfish and then we got out of the cage five minutes later sharks were there yeah so obviously we were like no we just got out of the cage <laughs> But we were still like really excited that they were there. So they put you through in groups, so then yeah. they started like group one, group two, group three. We were group three, yeah. And they had a couple after us as well. But yeah, we got we got some pretty awesome footage. Yeah. So it was a super like cool experience. I'm absolutely petrified of the ocean, terrified of sharks, but I had so much fun. Yeah. I wasn't scared. Like I think it's just the adrenaline. But we'll put some footage in of that here. Yeah, it was awesome. We'll put in like a little a little montagey thing of the day. Yeah. Nothing yeah, because we didn't really talk. It was a bit windy, not too bad, but we were yeah. just living in the moment. Um, but yeah, so we'll put some footage of that here.
getting back to what we're doing today. Normal uh, time. <laughs> yeah, normal current day. We're just um, leaving our little camp. We just came past Waiala yesterday and saw some of the dolphins at the boat ramp. We'll probably yeah. also put in a quick clip of that. Yeah, um, that was cool. Pretty. just missed them by a split second running down to the jetty and then yeah. we were sort of waiting around for a little bit longer and I could see them slowly coming back so we ran back down to the jetty and they're so funny they like lift their head up and out of the water like they're actually looking at you yeah wondering what cool. we are I suppose it's cool <laughs> yeah um, um, but today we are going to the Barossa Valley this is our little camp site we stay at tonight and probably see the ocean back there it's a nice beautiful morning it's a good spot yeah, this is called Point Lowry. We stayed here last time in the van, so that's why we knew about it. Yeah. Uh, it's just a free spot, which is really good. And it's next to like a big uh, like natural gas plant thing over there. They have like a big dock where the ships come in and stuff. Yeah. Oh, but cool. Today we've got a four, four and a half hour drive to the Barossa Valley. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to be heading into Adelaide. So we'll see you at the Barossa Valley, I suppose. to the town of Tanunda. 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 It's like one of the towns um, near around the Barossa Valley that you come to and we are just gonna go and find some lunch, hey? Yeah, go find a cafe or something. And then later on we are gonna go to the caravan park and park up the car and probably walk to a, a couple, local winery. Yeah, a couple of wineries, check yeah, them out. Have some drinks, but yeah, we're just gonna find some food. So I'll give you a quick little look at our campsite for the night. Um, no one else is in here. This is the unpowered section. <laughs> um, this is yeah, this is our little camp spot. It's pretty nice. Amenities are just there, and they're literally like brand new, which is awesome. Um, I've just noticed the past couple of days, well, pretty much just yesterday and today, the car's been starting a bit funny, like it's got a dead battery or something. But the battery is like brand new. But this earth that goes onto the motor here, because the starter motor earths basically like through the motor, um, it was like loose and I've just pulled the bolt out and hopefully, yeah, you'll see that on the camera there, that silver, where it's silver, that's aluminium stuck in the thread. Um, so the thread's just like stripped basically and it's not, um, not like, not tight, it can't, it's not going tight because it's just, yeah, all well, the thread's gone. Um, but luckily I should just be able to move it. There's another bolt hole just on the other side there. And then we should be all sweet. Okay, it's been a couple of days since we last filmed. Flies, they're everywhere. Um, so we went to the Barossa Valley and we said that we were going to go for some lunch. But we got there at like 2, 2.30 maybe on a Tuesday and everywhere was closed. Everywhere was like, oh, our kitchen's closed. So that's a little bit disappointing. So we couldn't get any lunch or anything like that, but we just went to the um, Barossa Valley Brewery and had a drink and then went back to the car and made ourselves some food. Um, and then since then we have been in Adelaide. Um, we stayed in the caravan park there because we had to get something done on the car, which Matt is definitely the person to speak to about that. <laughs> Yeah, I've got no idea. Well, I kind of have an idea, but um, he's just making some... What are you making yourself? A Ham and cheese toasties. Some toasties, okay, for brekkie. Yep. Yeah, so um, do you want to talk about it now or do you want to explain once you've done yeah, breakfast? Yeah, uh, yeah. We just took it into a place called Pro 4x4. Um, they're actually quite good to deal with. It was pretty pretty straightforward because the front we got the front radius arm bushes replaced. 
because the front right one's been clunking around pretty much the whole trip and it's been driving me absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, got those replaced. Now it's mint, which is nice. It actually fixed the problem. I mean, I could even notice the difference as a passenger, like it wasn't as bumpy. Yeah, the front end just feels a lot more solid. Yeah. Like before, like the diff would have just been sort of wobbling around a bit, which was getting pretty annoying. Yeah. Yeah, we fixed that up and... And then, good. and then we left Adelaide um, and it was so rainy and cold, wasn't it? It got to oh, like nine degrees or something. And freezing, it's it still was cold. so cold. Yeah, you don't have your jacket on. Oh, well, not too bad today. Um, and now we're at a place called the Granites. So we actually stayed here last time in the van. It's just basically a massive big um, car, park. car park, yeah. And the beach is down there. But as you can see, it's a bit of an overcast, bit of a windy day. It's gonna pick up, I think, a bit later. Um, and today we are starting our, what, robe to beach port drive? Yeah, starting our trip. Yeah, we gotta go drive to robe this morning. There's actually a track to the beach from this car park over behind the camera. We're gonna go head down onto the beach and drive to the next town and then we'll go back onto the road. Head to robe, road and robe. <laughs> head to robe, um, get a bit more fuel and then we'll be camping in the dunes tonight. Yeah. So. Yeah, hopefully the weather clears up it. a bit, but. Hopefully, yeah, the good. wind's supposed to stay down, which is good. Yeah, should be good.